I'm excited for the offense and I think we're all ready for the opportunity and we're ready to attack it. So, mm -hmm. what, what impresses you about Utah State's defense? What impresses me? Um, <laughs> Anything of note that you saw on film? You were just like, hey, we gotta look out for this. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff. I play in the slot mostly, and so like just seeing how they get hands on at certain points is something I have to like really be cognizant about. Is knowing when I get some looks, I'll get hands on; and other looks, I'll get free releases and stuff like that. So that's when I'll have to get shifty in there and make my moves and find the guy I really want to run the route on. Uh, you're binged up, dinged up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what binged up is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> In camp a little bit, but you feel good now. Coach mm -hmm. said you're healthy. How is how is your progress? Was it frustrating to be out, and how are you now? Yeah, uh, obviously it's frustrating to be out since I've hurt my foot a couple times over the past year, or whatever. But just staying the staying the course and trusting the process, really not getting down. It's it's really easy to to get down on yourself and then not be as fully in as you should be you know what I'm saying so like staying up later and like not eating food when you're injured is eating like healthy food is real easy to do when you're not healthy sure. so I think one thing is my parents are like big supporters of me so in camp like my mom sent me this I forget what it's what they're even called but just like a little saying like every single day to like help me stay motivated and stuff like that and then the trainers here are, are real great they do all stuff that makes me feel better and like knows what I was going through to get my confidence back up. So just simple things like nice. that. Nice. No uh, pastrami sandwiches from home. No, no it's instead. Yeah. Well, my okay. mom actually sent me like two packages in the <laughs> mail when I was in camp. It was funny. I was in there like for three days and I'm already getting like a goodie bag for my mom <laughs> with like notes on the bag and stuff like that. She's she's the best, honestly. Well, it it has a goodie bag. No, no sandwiches this time, oh. but she sent me, I really like those peach rings, you know, those candy. And then I, I, I have this like chili lime stuff from Trader Joe's. That's real good that I put on my fruit. So she sent me some like mangoes with the chili lime stuff already on it. Nice. Mm -hmm. So Pretty you said good. you were working in the slot. Has the emergence of other guys helped you be more in that role or are you moving around a lot? Um, in different packages, we all line up in different spots, I think. Mm -hmm. One thing that's great about our receiver room is we have guys that can line up in all different spots, and I think you'll see that on Saturday with the with the emergence of the wide receiver room. Yeah. What have you seen from the younger guys, uh, Seth and Caleb, during this camp? What plays do you remember from them? Um, what plays do I remember from them? Hmm. Well, the one play on Kids Day that Seth made I thought was pretty good. Yeah especially running full speed and then tracking the ball over your shoulder, like arms fully extended. That's a legit, legit play that a lot of people can't make. People don't really understand how hard it is to look all the way over one shoulder. Seth's so pretty good at that. And and your wide, re sorry. Your wide receivers coach said you definitely a leader this year. So how have you grown as a leader over your time here at Iowa? Um, and that was one of my goals of the season is to be more of a vocal leader. In my past, even in high school, I remember my coaches like being on my ass about not like being vocal and I try to lead by example, but sometimes you need to be vocal with younger guys to like really get them going. So just trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and be as vocal as I can be has been something I was working on this year. I'm really thankful for my time here at Iowa, to be honest. Um, I love everything about being here. I love playing football. I want to play football for as long as I could play. and. I want to play in the net in the in the NFL just like all those dudes you were saying. So I understand that, and I gotta just put my best year this year and try and get the job done. Is it nice to be healthy? I mean, you and Deontay, mm -hmm. Connecticut guys there. Yeah. You know, so banged up last year. Yeah. Like, do you feel like a, that's just gonna be alone is gonna be a big help to this offense? Uh, definitely. I feel like even mentally, like for yourself, when you're yeah. not healthy and having to play games, it it kind of sucks. But I'm feeling pretty good at this point, and I'm I'm just ready to show what we got this Saturday.